Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis. Today we will discuss jet stream effects on climate. We have already discussed how jet streams are formed and what are their different characteristics as well as comparison of tropical jet stream and polar jet stream. The links to these videos is available in the description. We have discussed in our previous video that the downward extension of the jet stream has a convergence zone over here where the air accumulates and due to which the air accumulated air will subduct and it will reach the surface and create high pressure. Here we get a clear sky. While here in the northward extension of the jet stream, we see that there is a divergent zone. The air will come from the ground towards the jet stream and therefore there is a low pressure over here. And because the air is rising up, we will find here cloudy weather. We have already discussed this phenomena and you can very clearly see that phenomena in this animation. So let's see one by one the effects of jet stream on different climates. So first we will start with heat wave and cloudy weather. We just discussed that there is a high pressure region below the southward extension of jet stream where the convergence occurs and there is a low pressure region below the northward extension of jet stream where divergence occurs. Now here we see clear sky and here we see the cloudy atmosphere. Now we know that the jet stream is not stationary but they continuously move around the earth. So they alternatively any region below the jet stream will feel a high pressure region as well as low pressure region. This movement sometimes gets very slow or it could even stop and when this happens a region where there is a high pressure zone there is clear sky and it will receive a lot of heat and therefore we can see that the temperature of this region will increase and this is called heat wave for that reason. So when the circular motion of jet stream becomes slow very slow or almost stops the so the region below this convergence zone will have clear skies it will receive a lot of sunlight and it will become hot and this is the heat wave. Similarly if the divergence branch has halted over here and the jet stream is not moving over here then we will see that this region will experience prolonged cloudy weather there will be rain and there will be cloudiness in the sky so this is how the movement of the jet stream or the rotation of the jet stream influences the climate of a region the next topic is polar vortex we have discussed in great detail polar vortex in another video here we will only briefly see the role of jet streams in polar vortex. So we see when the polar vortex is very strong, we see that the jet streams are not showing much meandering. They are moving almost in a straight line or almost in a circular line. This is called zonal flow. And here we can see that the stratospheric air is moving at a very high speed and similarly the upper tropospheric air is also moving at a very high speed we see that in the troposphere this tropospheric vortex will divide into two parts one part of it will go towards the siberian region the other part approaches american region we see now that the jet streams have extended they are showing very long meandering and because of this meandering this cold air comes to the center of american regions and therefore america experiences a lot of snowfall and cold wave during these periods so we can see here that this jet stream plays a very important role in confining the cold polar vortex towards the poles. But when it weakens, the cold polar vortex reaches the lower latitudes like in the Central American regions. Now next important effect of jet stream is extratropical cyclones. Jet stream plays an important role in starting the extratropical cyclone. Here we can see that the cold polar air is located over here while the warm air brought by westerlies is located over here and in the middle we see a front formed between these two kind of airs. The jet stream creates an upper air divergence which we can see here and because of this upper air divergence the air starts to moving out of this region. Slowly the air in this region will be depleted and air from the ground starts to move up creating a low pressure region at the ground and this is how the extratropical cyclone starts. So you can see that jet stream plays an important role in starting extratropical cyclones. Jet streams also play a very important role in bringing monsoon to India. 
we see that in winter the jet streams are moving from the south of our Himalayas. They create a high pressure region over Indian subcontinent because of which the monsoon winds are not able to enter the Indian subcontinent. We see that the air is flowing from Himalayas towards the Indian Ocean. In the month of May, we see formation of anticyclones which starts from Bay of Bengal and slowly it moves over to Himalayan regions. This anticyclone disrupts the flow of jet stream in the southern region of Himalayas. We now see that the jet streams are only flowing in the northern direction. There is no jet stream over here. Because of which the high pressure region over here is now removed. And we can see that the monsoon winds very quickly or very rapidly enter the Indian subcontinent. Thus bringing rain to India. Now again in the month of September. We see that the jet streams move to their original position. That is the flow from south of the Himalayas. And we see flow of wind from Himalayas towards the Indian Ocean. Thus a retreating monsoon winds are formed and we see that these retreating monsoon winds bring rain in the southern peninsula in some regions like Chennai. So jet streams are also very important for monsoon in India. Jet streams play an important role in bringing western disturbances to Indian subcontinent. Western disturbances generally come from December to February and they bring generally they bring light rains in the region. Now in the month of December to February we see that extratropical cyclones are formed over here. Now these extratropical cyclones are carried by the jet streams towards our Indian subcontinent bringing rain over here. Therefore the jet streams also play an important role in bringing western disturbance towards India. Now another important effect of jet stream is that it creates cyclonic and anticyclonic winds. When jet stream is very strong it moves in a zonal manner, it moves in a straight line or in a circular line. But when it weakens, we see meanders and waves formation. Sometimes we see that these meanders, they get very elongated. And they get so much elongated that they are cut off from the jet stream. And we see that these airs will be moving as a separate air system. Now here, this is a cyclonic air. So we can see that the jet stream has separated this cyclonic air and now this cyclonic air will move in the southern direction giving cyclonic winds. Similarly, the anticyclones can also be produced from the upper part of the jet streams. Here we can see that a jet stream is moving in a zonal manner. But when it stretches, when it becomes weakens and when it has these loops, we can see that there is a cyclonic wind and there is an anticyclonic wind. These anticyclonic extensions will give anticyclones over here while these cyclonic winds will give cyclonic winds over here. So we can see that this is how the jet stream induces cyclonic and anticyclonic winds in the atmosphere. There are many other climatic phenomena where jet streams play an important role. Here we have discussed only a few. I hope you have liked this video. And if you have liked it, then please do not forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.